What a way to start off the episode. Nothing like a good old-fashioned time-lapse. And it might look a little different than what you saw me build in the time-lapse, and that's because I ran into a couple of issues. Um, so this design originally is made by Fast Jays. I'll leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description below. And this farm works exceptionally well, I think. And so while scrolling through his comments, he put up some changes he made to the original design. And one of them was to put blast resistant or blast proof um, blocks in front of this glass tower. Because sometimes the TNT probably from that one might break the glass in the redstone. So that I added that just to be on the safe side. You know, it can't be too safe. But he also has trap doors here and there. And the water goes from here out this way. But the problem was that I found, or that <clears throat> me and Death Dealer actually found, because I asked him for some help, was the trap doors were prohibiting the dark oak from growing for some reason. So, um, me and Death just came up with the idea of just having the water go out the other direction, because the only purpose of this water is basically to, to make sure nothing underneath it blows up. Because the TNT will blow this stuff up. Um, and then I think that's the, all the main changes. But in single player, this wasn't needed. So I don't know why the trapdoors in multiplayer made the tree growth uh, not work. But it happens. We found a fix for it, so it's not that big a deal. So now what we need to do is make this collection system, the one that came with this, hook up to that one. Because I have already set a spot here for our dark oak. And I've already I moved, I think, all the dark oak from those chests into here. From what I've run a little bit. But we need to hook up the water stream from the old tree farm, which is right there, with this one. So I'm going to try to figure that out right now, and I will bring you back when I might have a plan. I have completed the sorting system, and I have applied, you know, your basic sorting system with comparator, redstone, redstone repeater, and then a redstone torch. And the reason why I have four droppers here, or four hoppers, collecting dark oak logs is because the way the logs come out, it might come out too quickly and might go down to this one. It normally doesn't, it usually sticks to these first three, but I noticed in early testing that it sometimes hits this fourth line. So, you know, rather be safe than sorry. And then the other four are just for apples and sticks, basically. I don't really care where they go. They'll fill up as they go. But yeah, I have also tested this a bit, wow, a bit more. And I got, I think from the previous clip, another row and a half or so. But the issue I have run into is running out of saplings because this dirt um, comes up and pushes the logs up so that you can replace saplings, which triggers the TNT dupers. But I found that if, um, when it pushes the logs up first, it does a second pulse sometimes too quickly and breaks the four saplings. Uh, and since it literally, it since it's pushing the saplings into the logs above it, it just destroys them. It doesn't grow them. Or, you know, just, like if you were to break dirt underneath the sapling, it would drop the sapling on the dirt block. That's not the case here. So I basically lose four saplings. So I've run into the issue of running out of saplings. And I think I don't I, I don't have any. 
um, in the dropper. There might be some more in wherever the hopper is. The hopper right down there. But not enough. So I need to come up with a solution to that. But for now, we actually have a meeting with Fabigan. Gentlemen, uh, we are here today because of... Uh, we, we do have a third room of Favigag, this meeting room. And it's pretty good, I think. You know, we got good security over there with the door. But we've uh, kind of been put to shame because of uh, top towers over there in the shopping district. <laughs> it, looked, it looks fantastic, but it, it makes our room uh, look, kind, look kind of bad, I think. Yeah, compared to what they've got, we, we've, not, <laughs> we've not got a lot going well for us right now. We we are doing better than uh, captains of industry. They just have a desert, so we, we are a yeah, step that, above them. That's true. No, we do so, we do need to uh, form a little bit of a response, though. I think a response I, is definitely needed. I completely needed. agree. So we'll we'll need to come up with a good design, and you know, split it up three ways, so we each get you know a good good chunk, a section of the building um, that we can do whatever we want with, and then we'll need to put it in the shopping district to definitely show off against them. I think, um, yeah. yeah, I think uh, let's head over there right now. All right, so if you guys follow me down here, off to the left where there's a burning zomb couple burning zombies. Oh, that's a lot of mobs. Whoa. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Mob farm, not um, a tower. Yeah, that's where the outline I have it. Or I have the outline. Oh, right there. It's kind of just a rough area of a spot we could put it. Um, but I think it'll be good, and it, you don't have to worry about the monstrosity there, or, uh, I think it's Margaret. The name is Margaret. Oh, Margaret. Oh, okay. Um, so we don't have to worry about that being in the way, because it will be plenty tall. So do you already have a, uh, design planned out for this thing? You got an idea of what this thing's gonna look like? I got a, a good rough shell of an idea that we'll need to, uh, work out some potential kinks of it but uh yeah i'll we'll have to go over that sometime shall you tease right, them on what it's going to be made of i think i think a little tease is in order uh glass uh glass. Okay. To, to um kind of give a description of it there will be over 18 and a half thousand pieces of glass in it I think is what the number is. So top yeah. that top tower. You have eighteen thousand pieces of glass in your build. Uh, exactly. Don't have eighteen thousand pieces of anything in that build. <laughs> we'll we'll have a building coming soon. Okay. Coming All to right. a computer near you. All right. Well, sounds good to me. <laughs> All right. Cool. We'll well, uh, well bye. Start working on it. <laughs> yeah. Adios. <laughs> so you may have noticed from the meeting with the f other with clumsy and the mechanic, and the sorting system clip from before the meeting, that my levels are different. I think I was at like thirty or fifty levels, something like that, and now I'm at a hundred and fifteen. <laughs> and that is because clumsy mechanic and I have spent a few days trading with villagers and these are the resources required for the build it's a lot I, i'll i'll say that um it's it's definitely a lot of resources i think these are all pretty much completely full shulker box except for that one i think this is the only one that isn't full um so it's yeah, it's a it's a lot of shulker boxes, but I think we should just um hop into a time lapse with clumsy and mechanic. Yeah, lead the way. Uh, let me make sure I'm record. Okay, I'm recording. All right. Make sure my M and R on on on. Okay, yeah, I'm recording. Yeah, make sure we're all recording. Craig will not be joining us. Craig is being a little annoying. Well, that's a shame. Um, okay, we'll start. All right, gentlemen, we have spent uh, many hours collecting resources. Uh, de definitely quartz from Clumsy and Mechanic and glass by yes, me. Yep, yep. 
It took a lot a lot of emeralds. We used what? <laughs> a, over almost two shulker boxes of emerald blocks. Yep, something about that. Uh, yeah, we milked those villagers for everything they have. <laughs> yeah. And then some. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so we have all of our chocolate boxes over there on the platform, which I don't know if, if anyone can actually see the chocolate boxes. Ah, it's not rendered. Oh, you yeah. see the shadows yeah, over there. The shadows are over there. Yeah. And you may notice from, at least from my previous clip and probably their uh, mechanics and clumsies, we have moved the spot to between Nether Injector and Z Mart, which we are currently standing on. And that is because the render distance for the server has increased to 16. So we figured, uh, might as well put it between the Fabigag shops, right? Yeah, I mean, yep, we yep. have the butt in there, we have the arena, we have the villager trading hall, and then yep. the gumball machine. Like, literally 90% of Fabigag is over here. <laughs> yeah. So I think with that, we might as well uh, uh, get cracking on this build. It's going to be uh, big. <laughs> to say that, that, that is not right. thing. <laughs> All right, well, let's get to it. Yep, let's go. all we have time for but that time lapse took about four hours to do um and we actually i thought it would fit in the world but it actually reached build limit like 10 layers early so we kind of had to weirdly cap it off but it still looks good you will never see it up there uh so yeah i think it looks uh absolutely amazing and I think Clumsy went ahead and added some floors up here. Yeah, he added some floors up here for our offices. We'll do stuff in the middle here eventually. Um, but for now, I hope you guys have a great day. Stay healthy, stay safe, and see you next time.